welcome to Two Surfers in the Van B1. We use some pretty strong language from time to time. Two Surfers in the Van is brought to you by the Radical Ten Over Surf Shop. Gnarly, bro. I'm Stevie, and I'm a pure shredhead. If a surf involved, I'm in it. This is Jilly, my most epic wife, and my best buddy and travel companion, partner in crime. She's not scared to tell you exactly what she thinks. We sold our home to live in a van, and we work on the most amazing holiday park, Jufigi Holiday Park in Newquay. This is our mental life and you're all welcome into it for well a little bit of an adventure like subscribe and let's get into this one guys Good the morning. <laughs> Hope you're all having a stoke on today. It's about 7.30 in the morning. Uh, I think today is a Saturday or Sunday. What day is it? Sunday. It's a Sunday. We're down New Key Harbour. We're gonna just go down here um, early. We've got up super, super early. Jill is still in her pajamas, bless her. She's half asleep when arriving in the cupboard apart because she's just not functioning. <laughs> Need coffee. Need coffee. <laughs> bless her. No, Jill's not like a really really immortal person. I'm like I'm like full of like woo! <laughs> I'm super tight. Yeah, well, when's coming, I have a coffee. <laughs> but the deer's a really good deer. It's an epic deer. Why is it a fucking epic stalk deer, Jilly? What are you doing, dear? I'm going surfing with Steve. Yay! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was talking Mate, man, to tone it down. I haven't had a coffee yet. No. Can you see your face? So happy. <laughs> I'm super stoked. I'm so unimpressed. <laughs> Jill's not. Jill's not loving it. Um, so <laughs> Jill's not feeling the stalkless. No, I woke up stalkless. <laughs> you, you can never wake up stalkless. Stalkless. I've got no stalk for the entire world to be stalk. Get me coffee, then I'll have stalk. Jill has some stalk. She's got some coffee in her. Yeah. More coffee. Um, so the situation is this: we're going to get Jilly out. I've got the uh, blue plank with me the nine foot one which is a really good board i think just to learn on and um, well any of the nine foot catch surfboards Can are I really good to learn on do you know a board he was going to make me take out the waterlogged gob log that he's just retired because it weighs more than a lot heavy goods vehicle. girl he was going to make me take uh, that out i was like absolutely not it'll be an absolute primo because she's not piling with or anything i'll be pushing out to get a board on the surfboard uh -huh. stuff, so. uh, uh, are you going to carry it down the beach for me yeah, I would have, yeah. Oh, yeah, you would have, yeah. You could have, you could have carried my board and I would have carried oh, that one. I'm carrying the <laughs> I've got to get all the boards on the beach myself, Instead evidently. Um, so, we're going to get Jilly in the water today and we're going to do some surfing. So, this is uh, this vlog, I think we should have called, titled um, Learning needs... My 40 Plus Wife to Surf. Jilly needs store. No, Achilles. Learning My 40 Plus Arthritic Wife to to surf. <laughs> she also needs to straighten her fringe before she goes in the ocean. Why? You're going to get wet. It's going to get messy. I look like an absolute hair bear. <laughs> hair bear? <laughs> my God. Oh my God. I um, look like a hair bear. I can't be walking around like this, Steve. Not in public. Jill, you've got from here to the beach to go. It's like just down singers. steps. Who cares? Who oh, I didn't give cares? A I didn't give a shade. Just what? wet? Because you're going to get wet anyway. That's a thing. Just sweat it and oh, okay. fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Anybody likes coffee? Has anybody tried this magical stuff? What coffee? It's South African coffee with chicory and I extremely recommend it and I would never go back to drinking regular coffee. You can buy it from Amazon and it's a 500 gram tub. So if anybody loves coffee but they're like, oh it's not, it's 250 gram. Smooth coffee. Coffee that just warms your inside. Coffee that's going to give you stalk before you surf. It's bad boy. <laughs> I I never personally had it, so I can't comment. Yeah. Um, liar. Have I had it? Yeah. It was that memorable. I can't remember it. Oh. Jilly seems to like it. <laughs> so anyway, that's what we're going to do, guys. So let's get into it. No. Why not? <laughs> I haven't had any of my arthritic tablets yet, mate. I'm going to have at least four cookies. Then I'll have a mouthful of mouthful of tablets. I'm not even having five drops of cannabis oil the day, Steve. Just swig the bottle. Because uh, <laughs> I think I need it. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, 
so I'm on a coffee number two, still waiting for the tide to drop back. Stephen Ian's outside discussing the plan of action. Steve's told me exactly how I'm going to be surfing, where I'm going to be surfing, what I'm going to be doing. I'm confident I can do this. I used to surf, I just haven't surfed for a couple of years because I'm just, I'm just busy all the time and when I do come down the harbour I just like chill out. But today I'm going for it people so all I can say is just pray for us and come along for the ride or get your popcorn and watch the comedy sketch. It's going to be one or the other. Well guys, the surf's dropping back. It took a while but I'll give you a quick flick. You see there, got some little baby waves, got a few surfers already paddling over even though it's not ready. Jilly's getting sorted in the minute. Waves, there is some waves out there I'm waiting for that. If you don't know, you can't surf on this beach until the water's beyond the island. When it's at the island, um, you can't surf, so you gotta wait for the waves to pull back. Putting black and white flags out and I'll take Jilly in the little ditty waves and uh, should be fun. Stoking, stoking, stoking. <laughs> How is that, Jilly? Squeezing the wet too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to work out in itself before you even get in the water. So what wet suit you got? Billy Bong. It's a Billy Billy Bong Bong Bong. This one's a 4-3, eh? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it's a Billy Bong 4-3 suit she's got because she feels the cold a little bit. But is this like brand new one? Uh, not, I think so, yeah. It's got the tag on it still. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Go and do it. There you go. Wow, so I bought it and never wore it. Yeah, I've got you it for the season. Oh. And end up wearing the shorter you did. I did, yeah. Because this is why, because they're a nightmare to get on. Yeah. So leave it like that until we're ready to go in, because you're on. Um, your booties are here. So Jenny's got some booties. Now I'm going to leave it up for now and then just let it go when it gets wet. And yeah, whatever. Well, oh, yeah. Can't wear my glasses when I go surfing. No, you can't. Can I wear the glasses? Shall I take them off now? Let me eyes adjust. Yeah, that's what I would do. Welcome to Learning Dumb Shit with Stevie. This is your host, Stevie. Yay! Right, guys, so when you set up a surfboard for the first time, there's a few things you're going to need, which are key things. You're going to need some surf wax to wax your surf. You're going to need fins or ear fin, depending on the board. The fin's really important for helping you stay within the water, help you stay within the balance so you're not all over the place. Of course, you need a really good leash. Your leash needs to be as long as your board. If you've got a nine foot board, you need a nine foot leash. Lots of people ask me about what kind of surfboard you need as a beginner. Well, in my opinion, and many of the experts out there, the biggest board you can get is the best board you're going to be able to learn on. So the bigger a board, or the bigger a board, the more stable it is and the easier it is to learn. The people out there that struggle are the ones who get a really short board, easy to carry, very unstable, never progress, never get very good at surfing, and then eventually they give up on it. I recommend nine foot foam boards, up to you if you want to go for Odyssey. I'll leave a link down below to a uh, surfboard with 10% off with 10 over surf. You can go and buy them from there. When, you surf, when, you, when you're surfing and you're waxing your board, there's many different ways you want to wax the board, but this is the back area here. This is where your feet are going to go. This is where you're going to pop up. So you need a lot of traction in this area. You also need a lot of traction around about the middle area where the second foot's going to go. Also where you're going to lie on it so you're not sliding off the board. And of course where your hands are going to go as well. To wax a board, very easy, multiple ways. You want to really put a base coat on first. Once you've got a base coat, I go from side to side like this. I'll then come down and I go down this way. I do some cross angles. You see here, you've got all these lumps and stuff here. This is kind of what you're looking for to start forming. Now, right now, it's quite hot. So a hot board means that the wax is going to melt on it. Once you've finished waxing your board, you've got to add the fins. You're going to have a leash string attached to the board. If you haven't, you're going to have one in. And it's best to look online on how to tie a leash string. The leash string should never go and overhand too far past the end of the board. If it does, it can cut through the board when the board gets pulled tight. Super easy to put on. Undo the Velcro on the bottom of your leash. Feed it through the string, fasten it tight, velcro it back down, and that is that now ready to rock. Stephanie behind you. Hey Steph. So with this board, I'm using a screw-in fin. I do use fin jacks sometimes, but because Jilly's learning today and she's gonna be hitting sand, we don't want a fin jack because the fin jack, you probably see my other videos, will unclip and will fall out the board and we'll lose the fin. On your fin, you've got a little nodule on the back here, um, and you've got the fin screw hole. On the fin box, you'll see that there's a little gap where the fin slots in. Pull it down into the position you want it, 
and then pop your fin in, put your screw through, and you've got a fin in place. Make sure that the fin arcs towards the back and not facing the other way around because you don't look like a cook, do you? Even though I am a cook. Got Ian Tinto Travels. Gonna get a few little ones with Jilly? Yeah, that's how I feel like that. Yeah, why not, eh? Yeah, you're a little. At the moment, the tiny. Got there, guys. All the holiday makers having a blast over there. We're gonna stay over this area where these guys are over here. We want the smaller inside waist of Jilly uh, to make it a bit more fun for her. And I'm gonna go out. It's gonna be another hot one down here in Southwest Cornwall. Surf report's gonna be two feet offshore. Your boys won't go get <laughs> oh, oh, close! <laughs> There you go. Hey, uh, try one pop. <laughs> You're fun. You're fun. You're fun. Alright, go on. That's it. Brilliant. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> That's good. Oh, he's too far forward. Bro, oh, you're too far forward. <laughs> we'll edit that one out. Out of them, and you just drop in and just smack the lip, whoop, ah, drop down, snap, ah, and then after that, you just drop in, just ride the barrel, and get pitted, so pitted like that. Well, back from the surf, what can I say? I didn't realise that my surf anxiety, because that's what I'm calling it, was as bad um, after I nearly drowned when I was younger. I think it was about seven when I almost drowned. And I can swim in a swimming pool and swim in the ocean as long as I'm not getting roughed about by the waves. But at the minute the waves are over my head and I can't see, that's when the panic sets in. So I think I might have to go and potentially take some um i don't know surf lessons maybe um try and try and figure out where the anxiety comes from well i know where it comes from try to figure out sorry i'm just looking traffic wardens here <laughs> uh, and just make sure that i take care of it and try and figure it out otherwise potentially not going to be able to go surfing because it gets the better of me. So anyway, I'm gonna go and see what these traffic ones are cracking on about. So we've just decided to help with me overcoming my anxiety. And Tracy's just had a pot of noodle and she needs some dessert. We're gonna go and get some dirty donuts. So come with us, let me down. Come with us and we'll go and go and get some extra sprinkles because we love two servers in a van. Whoop, whoop. Now we're back at the back at the dirty donut shack here we got. <laughs> Anna! Hiya! So this is Dirty Donuts. You remember her, the last vlog we done. And me and Tracy's ordering donuts. Two rounds. Two rounds of Dirty Donuts. We're just busy figuring out what sprinkles we've got. And then we're just going to shove it on my face, aren't we, Anna? Do you not shy? <laughs> She's super shy with the cameras on. Show them your t-shirt. Can you buy these yet? Yeah. So are these for sale? They are. Are they? Yeah. Where'd you buy them from? From me. 
much of Christmas clothes? Yeah, he doesn't know. And where are you located there? <laughs> Down at Nicky Harbour. It's only where I get to say it. <laughs> are you open all of the six weeks holidays? I though? am over here. Fantastic. So you've got to get down to the harbour and get your duty doing it some people. It's a must. into with dirty donuts. I went for Nutella and I got some chocolate balls, sprinkles. Tracy went for was it salty caramel and honeycomb. Yeah. So we're just gonna tuck in, enjoy them and sign off and then we might catch it. We might be having a barbecue later on tonight so if the weather stays like this, barbecue's on. Mm. It's on.